Don in London, hello. It's October the 12th, my daily video all about recovery from addiction to substances and behaviour. My substance, alcohol, my behaviour, equally addictive towards people, places, things, work, relationships, extremes of behaviour, trying to get it right, I'm not really understanding life too well in my rightfulness and wrongfulness. So these days, trying to find some balance on a daily basis. And what helps me is a fellowship that fellowship is AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. Don't speak for AA, never can, never will, never want to. It's full of unique, authentic people who speak for themselves where they choose and where they will. But I share here the daily reflections from this book, which is from AA, one page a day to help meditate and keep on track. And uh, the month of October is all about step 10, doing a personal invent inventory whenever necessary, usually daily, about my conduct my personal conduct and how I'm looking at the world rather than judging the world. So it's about me and changing my attitudes and behaviour. And for today it talks about the October the 12th, curbing rashness. When we speak or act hastily or rashly, the ability to be fair-minded and tolerant evaporates on the spot. So often a reaction, anger, resentment. Being fair-minded and tolerant is a goal toward which we, well, I was going to say we, but it says here, which I must work daily. Absolutely true. It's me working on me. I ask God, or good conscience, as I understand him, to help me to be loving and tolerant to my loved ones and to those with whom I am in close contact. In other words, the purpose behind life, to love, be loved and useful. I ask for guidance to curb my speech when I am agitated and I take a moment to reflect on the emotional upheaval my, my words may cause, not only to someone else, but also to myself. Prayer and meditation and the inventories, the daily inventory of what's going on, are the key to, the sa to sound thinking and positive action for me. And positive action doesn't mean it's easy. Positive action is hard work, because it's about changing me and my attitudes to what is going on, so I can see what I can and cannot do, sensibly and truthfully. And what helps when everything is difficult or easy, because easy can lead me to procrastination and laziness. If it's okay, I won't do anything. But actually, is it okay? And when I do a personal inventory, maybe there are some things I need to look at in terms of my attitude and behaviour. And when I'm doing that, the serenity prayer is always at hand, the can and cannot do of life. And it's to God or good conscience, this meditation or prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to learn the difference, or to know the difference, is, for me, just for today.